Koei Tecmo. <laughs> yeah. Because Koei and Tecmo merged uh, around this time. Well, for DOA, original DOA 5. Well, Dimensions, I guess. Dead Alive 5, last round. So, yeah, version 1.01. .01. There, I've got the update file. I don't know what it does or anything like that. Let us know that things are going to be presumably a bit better. Upload save data. I don't have the PS3 version. I only have I only had the 360 versions. That's yeah, fine, whatever. Uh oh yeah, a weird action cam. I don't know what that's about. If they added hit effects in this one. Like like uh, the stuff you might see in Tekken with like an impact when the characters get hit. Okay. I'm right there, you can just press button to go for the DLC, and there's Kasumi in the, uh, I believe in the Nurse DLC outfit with new character Marie Rose. Kind of creepy, just need to quickly check the options menu. Let's see, classic. I'll put the hit effects on, because they are decent. Dirt and dirt and sweat and water can get on the characters, that's cool. <laughs> Wait, what does what, last round do? I'll, I'll say we're natural. Lag simulation. Oh. Okay then. Yeah, that doesn't really matter because it's, it's a, a singular story mode in this game. Controls largely the same. Yeah, I'm on, this is on PS4. It's actually, I believe the first. Uh, full, yeah, it's the first full Let's Play I've done on a, with a PS4 game. I may well be the last. Because I just don't really do it, like get yeah, English voices for the full, for a full proper game. Let's move into the story mode. Uh, and yeah, the whole thing is displayed in a timeline, which I'll show off later. Because um, it's generally a better approach than what's done with stuff like uh, Mortal Kombat. I think there were subtitles. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's like, what is this? The Call of Duties. Admittedly, I think this looks more like say. Resident Evil than a COD game. Bayman! The first character you see is Bayman. And look, it's some, some punk kid. That was Wendy Lee doing that voice. What? No! Now this looks like some art of Resident Evil. OMG, Wesker just killed everyone. <laughs> New York, same time. And it, 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 his uh, new character, Mila. She's, she's one of my favourite characters. She's apparently Spanish. I don't know. What they say about you is true. You're not half bad. Can yep. you me, though? Zach. That's the real question. Guess we're gonna find out. Wait, I forgot it, op I forgot it opens with, um, with Mila. The, 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 the way this, this you can see the impacts on it, but I, the way the way the um, this mode tends to work is uh, at least, least the mentions of this. I think this is, this game did a bit is actually like a tutorial as well, it's teaching different mechanics, and, and this one actually has challenges. Another big impact move just did them. That comes up a lot in uh, in the game for the big big specials you can do in certain areas. And look look at all the sweat. It looks see, it looks great. It could be cool if they made it that the characters sweat more when they're wearing like heavier clothes. So if a character's like wearing just say a bikini, they're not going to sweat as much. Or maybe they sweat less in colder environments, but more in hotter ones. So yeah, that was kind of unnecessary, but it cuts back to this. I guess I want to keep the pace up so that the, so there's not too much cutscenes and there's a fair amount of gameplay. OMG, it's some kind of robed figure. Oh no, it's not Wesker, it's Jill. And look at Bayman, Is that, I think that's blood all over him. Oh, it's a sword. They disappeared. Who could this mysterious person be? Well, let's just, just keep watching and find out. The freedom to have, yeah, this is, this is the Doatech ship. So I think this is just the headquarters of Doatech generally. Yeah, and Bayman's got to scar now. Any normal person could pull off. 
He had to be involved hmm. with Dorn. Yeah, so Bayman is, is working with Eleanor. And as you can see, the characters generally have a much more realistic art style. See, it looks way better, doesn't it? A lot more like people. has no involvement. At least not yet. Do you understand? Or were you hoping for something else? So you're saying that whatever the people who have left Doatec do on their own is none of your concern? Yeah, Donovan's basically been kicked out of Doatec along with all these guys. They've not been arrested or anything for their crime, they've just been kicked out. Girl, your messenger now. Hmm. It's, it's interesting to see some characters in the casual wear like Bayman. I sort of really like Ellen's outfit. This is, I think this is a new default. Oh... Look, she looks like a person. And, she, and she's um, 19 now. So it's not creepy. And, uh, not as creepy. Where is my clone? Where is Alpha? And hers more brown. Like in DOA 1. And she's been recast as well. Kasumi. Where is she? Tell me, I beg you. I need to find her. Put an end to this. Yeah, Alpha acts, Alpha one five two managed to escape, and is still out there. Alpha one five two was Doetec's ultimate combat life form. Apparently, they haven't been able to track her down in two years. Do not worry, she will be found. I promise, Kasumi. You know, dear, we still have some time before we reach the dock. Try to get some rest. Yep. I think Eleanor is actually no, she's be twenty three, so she's still not not around twenty five like I originally thought she was meant to be in the older ones. What are you planning now? She moves though, make it there's like a build up to see oh this is gonna be some epic and then it just fades out. It's like I hate that when music fades out with the, along with the scene. It just seems really bad and unprofessional. So, it's been a while, hasn't it, bro? What does Eleanor want with me? Yep. No idea. Maybe she's trying to set you up with something. So, Hayate changed clothes, which is nice. Set me up. Hmm? And, oh yeah, Zach was recast too. <laughs> oh, so I forget who it is playing him. I'm sure she's done with all her experiments. I think it's a guy playing Zaslam and Soul Calibur 3. What gun battle? Foot high tri tower going up in flames. Do attack. Yeah, now that Ellen is taking the place over, it's back in business. You know, I've actually been doing some work for them, and they've really turned over a new leaf. I thought it was supposed to be helping her rebuild, but apparently, yeah. apparently she just gave up on that and decided to do it herself. Also, she's only just seen a guy in like full ninja gear just sat there, like, hmm, yes, in a helicopter. Speaking of ninja gear, I actually, I actually got a pre order bonus with this game. It was a. A costume set of uh, ninja gear. All the, the, the four main ninja characters with new ninja outfits. Set for you, he just gets a bunch of ninja, ninja guide and weapons strapped to him. Must be the seer. Yo, yeah, base. Thinking, oh, it's Bass, is it? You bring your with you out here in the of the ocean? This is Rig, one of the new characters. He's one of my favourites too. Gameplay wise, it's not that interesting a character. I mean, it ain't gonna do you any good here, is it? Kind of interesting that uh, Bast. It's interesting that Bast doesn't have a, have a southern accent when his daughter does. And down he goes. Okay. So, for some reason, uh, Bass's audio seems to be coming out of the. Uh, out of the left um, audio channel instead of the right. I don't, I don't even know what that moved up is about. Oh, that was, that was it would have been a cool that was a cool spin I was doing. Damn it! Yeah, vast die. 
I don't think yet. I'm not sure what, he, what his, his martial art is, if he even has one. I'm not sure. Ex sure I'm not sure it's explained in the story at any point. But, but the idea with Rig is that he, he was he's got amnesia and he was found on this oil rig that Bass is randomly working on now. So he's just calling himself Rig. That that's actually the explanation for it. Yeah, he's definitely taken over by now. I don't know what his dad's up to at this point. Hayate, listen to me. There's something I feel I have to finish. I like the detail, like the reflection in the eyes in that. It's quite dangerous for Kasumi to be on her own. Kasumi, this concerns our whole clan. You shouldn't bear this burden alone. Oh, now you're accepting her after ignoring her completely for three games, you shit. But this is the way that she's just like, no, I can't involve you. And it's like, he's, finally, he's offering to help you instead of being a little shit. And you turn him down. That was an odd transition. Yeah, that was the, that was the uh, the prologue. Yeah, so, so this is this is the timeline. It kind of jumps around a lot. Wait. Oh, right. Left, left and right moves it be uh, between chapters. Wait. Yeah, left and right between chapters, and up and down is individual events. Right. Okay, so we go we're going to Casimir's story. All oh, right. Gives you the bio. Uh, pursues weaponized clone of herself. Uh, Kasumi sets out to find the clues to Alpha's whereabouts. That's it. And, and, and no, you don't get to play as every character in the story. There are, of course, some characters who are left out. Mainly villains. I think. Oh, look. It's Lisa. Kasumi? She just randomly finds a walk in the streets. But I bet you already know. Oh. Whatever do you mean? Yeah, Kasumi's like, yeah, Lisa, I know you, you know really stuff. You can, probably. But yeah, for some reason Lisa's still Lisa's just still in that that's she's still using that stupid uh, luchador style. See, see how great great the whole game looks now. The animations are, a lot of the animations are way better. The characters are a lot more realistic. Damn it. When it's like going on the defensive, it starts to lose. Yeah. Take that, you bitch. And the characters only have like two victory poses each. One normal and one for the um, for when they get perfect. Yeah, so that whole thing with, with Lisa was completely pointless. And now Ayane sounds even younger than she used to. This is the weirdest thing. Why did they replace Wendy Lee as Ayane? Just, just, it just seems funny they replaced her as Ayane, but had to stay on as Lisa. Well, take on the role of Lisa, because she weren't Lisa originally. I'm trying to get her down there. Damn it, game, let me knock her down. Because this is a rooftop just above that other area. Like, this is the same arena. What's the bet she knocks me down? I'm going to say, what's the bet she knocks me off the roof now? <laughs> Because I honestly thought she would. I now know what I have to do. My people need a hero. I must go to them. And then, yeah, Antarctica a few days later. Why are you following me? It doesn't take a long to, to get such a long way around the world. And look, she's, look she's, she's not even wearing, like, tights or something. Like, longer tights to cover up her skin in this snowy environment. I'm looking for something. Yep. Ready to face your fate. Yeah. This, there's really no reason for him to actually be fighting. I think this is one of the more boring snow levels. I think you, I think you can knock him down the ledge. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a you know it's been a while since I played DOA five at all. 
I think the graphics are just generally a bit better than the than the previous versions. Oh, and I think they brought back the ability to, to win by uh, knocking them off a ledge. Damn it. I didn't get to test it. Oh, they might have actually added more victory poses in this version. Oh, that might, might just be the uh, the perfect I got. And that's the end of that chapter. No, that was worth it. So I can't figure out... I think the timeline goes from top to bottom. So... Now we jump to Ayane just before Kasumi's chapter started. That's, that's the way it works. It plays one character for a while, but it jumps around the timeline a bit. Which makes it harder to follow the story, but it actually works better than what they did with MK versus DCU and subsequent games where one character is suddenly all powerful for like four fights, then after that they proceed to job to everyone. I mean, seriously, fuck Netherrealm Studios and the shitty storytelling. <laughs>